I'm sure you know who this is, the most famous person in biology, Mrs. Green. Her name stands for the seven life processes that an organism needs to do to consider being alive. They are movement, respiration, sensitivity, growth, reproduction, excretion and nutrition. And in this video we're going to focus on respiration. Cellular respiration is an exothermic reaction that occurs continuously in all living cells. Don't forget that it also occurs in both plant and bacterial cells. Respiration transfers all of the energy needed for living processes, such as the chemical reactions to build larger molecules, movement and keeping warm. Respiration can take place in cells either with oxygen, which is known as aerobic respiration, or without oxygen, anaerobic respiration. And you need to know the word equations for both of these processes. In aerobic respiration, glucose reacts with oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water. In the muscle cells of animals, the word equation for anaerobic respiration is simply the breakdown of glucose into lactic acid. A different form of anaerobic respiration takes place in both plant and yeast cells, where glucose is broken down into ethanol and carbon dioxide. This process is known as fermentation, and the products can be useful to us. Ethanol is important in the manufacture of alcoholic drinks, and the carbon dioxide produced by yeast cells is what makes bread rise. You also need to be able to compare the two methods of respiration. Aerobic respiration transfers more energy than anaerobic, as the glucose is completely oxidised in aerobic respiration, producing water and carbon dioxide. However, in anaerobic respiration it's incomplete, and therefore less energy is transferred.